Have you ever wondered how billionaire Elon Musk effectively manages his time in his four companies? He uses time boxing. Now, if you want to be more productive whilst running your Amazon business, watch this video because I'm going to share with you what time boxing is and how you can use it to manage your Amazon business more efficiently, just like Elon. Stay tuned. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson and I've been selling on Amazon for four years. And right now I'm on a mission to do one million pounds by the end of 2021. What I'll do is I'll drop a link to a video up there about my one million pound challenge. Now, in addition to my Amazon business, I also run Fast Track FBA, where we support Amazon sellers in their Amazon businesses. And with this, I also use time boxing to juggle my time, not only between those two businesses, but also my third business now selling on Amazon USA and trying to have a social life as well. So I've got a lot of experience in using time boxing. Now, quite simply, what are we going to go through today? First things first, we're going to go through number one, what is time boxing? Number two, I'll go through the benefits of time boxing. Number three, I'll talk about how to do time boxing. Number four, I will talk about how to use time boxing for your Amazon business. And finally, number five, I'll say how I use time boxing for my Amazon business as well. Let's get started. Right, that leads me nicely onto chapter one. What is time boxing? So time boxing simply means you open your calendar and enter a block of time you spend on a certain task. Instead of working on the task until it's done, you proactively decide how much time you're going to spend on it. Time boxing is proven to be effective, especially for busy people. One example of this is Elon Musk, who uses time boxing to juggle his time in his four businesses. By breaking up large projects into short interval development cycles, it will help you increase your productivity. Quick question for you guys. How do you manage your time in your Amazon business? Let me know in the comments down below. Now that leads me nicely on to number two, the benefits of time boxing. The first benefit of time boxing is that it will allow you to allocate the correct amount of resources, i.e. time, to each task. And over a period of time, for example, a day, a week or a month. Now, the second benefit of time boxing is that it will give you more focus. The central value of time boxing relies on accomplishing one task at a time because you have allocated the optimal amount of time to each task. Amazon sellers can be confident that they can focus on each subtask and give it their full attention. Now, the third benefit is clarity. By using time boxing, Amazon sellers can clearly define the timeline for specific goals or targets and ensure that you've allocated the right amount of time towards that goal. Not too much, but also not too little. That leads me nicely on to number three, how to do time boxing. Well, grab your pen and paper and let's follow these steps. So first of all, step one, list all the tasks for your week. It is important to always plan out the week ahead before it starts. This will give you a clear view of how you can achieve your targets for that specific week. Now, step two, rank your task in the priority. Of course, the most important task is your first priority or the task that needs to be done first. That's your first priority. Step three, set the time box or period for each task in your calendar, i.e. one hour for each task. Estimate how long it will take for you to complete each task on your to-do list. Now, a top tip for you guys is be realistic. What always happens is that a task generally takes longer to complete than you might anticipate, and it's important to make room for breaks and any unexpected interruptions. Another top tip you might want to experiment with is the duration of your time boxes, specifically how long you work for before you take a short break to keep yourself focused. Don't worry, this can take a few weeks to get right. Now, step four, set yourself a timer. Once you've allocated time to each task, set a timer to let you know when it's time to move on to the next task. Setting specific time periods will not only motivate you to work efficiently, but also ensure that other important projects are not neglected. Step five, you give yourself feedback. When you complete each time box at the end of the day, take a look at your progress. If you completed all of your tasks, what can you learn? What can you apply for future schedules? Now, if you did not complete all your tasks, ask yourself an honest question. Did you allow enough time to complete the task? Where did you get distracted? Learn from your mistakes and from your successes and then improve. Now, what if you haven't finished a task? You have two options. First is you can reallocate your time boxes for the day and continue with the task in hand, or you can move on to the next task and allocate further time later in the day or later in the week to come back to that task. Now, what I would say is getting started on Amazon is 
a lot of work and using time boxing is going to be a great way to really support you but you know what else is really going to help you having a course that is going to support you in understanding exactly what you need to know so what i want to share with you is a free course we've created here at fast track fba that's just going to help you out it's called the fast track fba express course quite simply have a look down below i will drop a link to the express course this is a seven day step-by-step -step tutorial taking some of my best youtube content putting it in the right orders and private content as well is just going to help you get started and accelerate your journey selling on Amazon. Check it out now. I think you'll really like it. Okay, that leads me nicely onto number four, how to use time boxing for your Amazon business. First things first, you should know what your important tasks are for each day. Most FBA sellers who don't have a prep center or VAs, for example, they'll spend most of their time sourcing products, creating, managing shipments. But if you're like me, you've got a VAs or a team of VAs, then your task is more focused on meetings with your VAs, check their deals, and then to make purchases. Now you've classified all your tasks, list all those routine tasks and allocate time for them in your calendar in that time box format. Now, again, what I'd really recommend is have breaks in the calendar to support you. Then allocate some time, not just working in your business, but also working on your business, looking for things such as maybe a prep center or a new credit card that's going to improve your business and take you forward. If you have spare time in your week, you can allocate that time to thinking about growing your business even further, maybe even 1 million like me. Now, I mentioned it earlier, I talked about managing VAs and that's what I do a lot in my business. And if you want to know more about VAs, what I'm gonna do is drop a link to a video up here about what is a VA and you can learn more about that. Now, how do I use Timeboxing for my Amazon business? Let me go through that now with you. Now, if you don't know, aside from my Amazon business, I also run a second company called Fast Track FBA. And very recently, I started my third business, which is my second Amazon account for selling on Amazon USA. So managing three businesses remotely with a growing headcount can be a real challenge. Now, if you don't know, my plan is to venture into the Amazon USA. And for that, I've allocated three hours a day for it. And quite simply, I've allocated one hour for reviewing deals with my VAs, one to one and a half hours in purchasing, and about half an hour doing admin. Now I'll tweak that as I go along. Now this is how I'm time boxing my work to try and be as efficient as possible. So now what I wanna do is I wanna show you how I allocate my time on a screen share with my computer. So let's jump on the computer now and I'll show you how I do time boxing in my life. Okay, so I've just loaded up into a calendar here and I've loaded up into a blank one because I don't want to jump into one that I've already done. I want to just start from the beginning. So first things first, blank calendar that I'm in right now. What am I looking to do? Well, first things first, what I'm probably going to do is just put in something really simple. I'm going to put in my sleep. I want to make sure that I allocate enough time for the basic life necessities. Sleep. Let's put it in now. Okay, so what I've just done is I've just put in my sleep and I've just recommend that as a reoccurring pattern. So I've got in there a nice eight hours of sleep and I'll pretty much have seven. And I know it takes me about 15 minutes beforehand to get to sleep or say 30 minutes beforehand to get to sleep, 30 minutes to wake up. So seven hours sleep with half an hour either side, that's eight hours allocated. Now, I pretty much wake up first things in the morning and I'll have some calls. But I know that in my life right now, what I'm probably going to do is I'm having three hours. Now, the one thing which I will say is top tip for you guys, if you do work with other time zones, come over to the settings menu, settings, and what you can do is add in a second calendar. So you can see here, I've got Mexico to format and I can add in a secondary time zone. And I'm gonna set that as the Philippines, for Manila. Now, what you're gonna see here is I've got this one, which is my current time zone. And then I've got the Philippines time. So I know what my staff are doing. So now what I understand is that I'm gonna have one hour with my team. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in here Monday, and I'm going to put 9 through to uh, 9 p.m. through to 10 p.m., which is one hour with my team. So I'm going to put in there. And this is going to be called deal review time. And I'm going to have to be quite condensed. And I like to get that a nice color. And for me, I put that as green. Uh, so that's deal review time. And then I'm just going to set it as repeat. And that's going to be repeat. That's going to be every weekday, Monday to Friday. Fantastic. There we go. Deal review time. Then in addition to that, what I'm then gonna say is I'm gonna do purchasing for one and a half hours. So I'm gonna allocate one and a half hours to deal purchasing. And it might be like, I'm just kind of checking some stuff. So that's fine. That's how I'm allocating that, deal purchasing. And then repeat that again to every weekday. Fantastic, let's save that. Great, and then finally, I said I'm gonna do half an hour of admin. So let's do admin. And I'm gonna make that green again so I can allocate. Perfect. And then in addition to that, we'll repeat that 
weekday. Fantastic. Oh, make that half an hour. Update all of those. There we go. So now I've time boxed my time out for that. Now let's say, for example, I might say, well, after that, what I want to do is I might have, I'm going to have, um, let's say, for example, 30 minutes to have some breakfast because I have maybe late, late breakfast. I might have breakfast and I'll just schedule that in. So I've got in what I'm eating. So I've got time for it. I literally do everything. I schedule everything. So weekdays, that's when I'm going to do that. That's great. And then maybe after from that, I want to do some exercise. So maybe I'll do like two hours in the gym. And I, when I do my gym, I like to say this is something else. I color that yellow. And then say, for example, gym. And we'll repeat that. And it might be that I do that five days a week. I don't really. I probably try and do like three to four. But there we go. We've allocated it. Now what I can do is I can delete out. Maybe I'm just going to do it three. We've got that. I'm going to go delete that one. And maybe I'll delete that one. So I'll go three times during the week. I'm happy with that. And then what I can start doing is building on more and more projects or more and more things that I want to get done. So it might be like this time here, up until about there. Or it might be that go to the gym, come back after the gym, I'll come back and have some lunch. Again, we might take an hour for lunch, for example. I'll repeat that daily. Fantastic. There you go, got lunch in. And then also as well now, I might do a lot of work up until there, and we'll call that work time for like FTF, Fast Track FBA. Um, and I'll see, I put that in a different color just to help me identify, and I can repeat that through. So what I know is that every week, pretty much, I know that I have in my third Amazon business, USA here, I've got to do some work, I've got some gym time in there, I've got some lunch time, I've got some work time happening. I've allocated time for it and I've created boxes for time that I know what I need to achieve there. Now, the one thing which we talked about earlier is agenda time and I might have some things, let's call it, I'm looking for a new prep center. I might go look, well, there's a natural break here. I might put in there and go find new prep center, for example. And that might just be a task that I put in. And during that time, I've allocated that time and it might be that I need two hours, or I might just need one hour. And I've allocated that to now finding a new prep center. So using the spare boxes I've got to allocate my agenda items into boxes really helps me manage my time in time boxing. Now you've just seen for me how I allocate my time. And if say for example, I've got five VAs, I might put one hour in for each, but I've pretty much condensed that down to one, or I might allocate time to improve my knowledge. Now the question you might be asking is what can I learn from this? Well, if you've got an Amazon business, you can divide your tasks into two the required tasks and the agenda tasks. Like what I'm doing, list down and define all of my required tasks, keeping my business operating. In your Amazon business, your required tasks could be taking or talking to your VAs, talking about performance, checking leads, sourcing, purchasing, managing the warehouse. Now, after setting all your required tasks in your Amazon business, think of things that you wanna focus on and grow your Amazon business. It can be repricing, studying new sourcing techniques, strategies to grow. Don't forget to still allocate time for breaks, sleep, and of course, days off. It's very important to avoid burning out in our business. You saw that with me and how I allocated my time for that. Okay, so now that you've managed the time, what about mastering your cash flow? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop a link to a video around here about managing your cash flow. And it's just gonna really help your business out. What I will say is hopefully you really liked that video and found it useful. If you have, give me a big like. And hey, if you wanna know more and see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. But for me, Thomas Parkinson, Vastrick FBA, thank you very much.